I'm Jonathan Dawson, coordinator of the Economics for Transition Masters programme at Schumacher College, Devon, England. At the moment around the world there's a lot of student disaffection with what they're being taught in the economics classroom, so it's a really exciting time to be teaching economics. However, the student protests are focused almost entirely on the curriculum, the implicit assumption being that if you change one set of textbooks for another set of textbooks, it's all going to be okay. Now, I think the curriculum is important, and certainly our curriculum here at Schumacher College is different from the conventional. Much, it's much more what they call heterodox, there's many more different approaches, not just market-based neoliberal economics. But I think that what we're doing that's even more exciting is playing not just with the what of education, the curriculum, but the how of education, pedagogy. So the way there, there are many conventions around just basic assumptions about how we do education. So for example, generally the teacher is the expert and they transmit their knowledge to the passive students who pass exams by showing they can regurgitate the information competitively for grades. Um, collaboration is called cheating. The only learning vehicle is the intellect and we're really playing cut contradicting all these assumptions so it's a much more embodied holistic education for head, heart and hands that draws on the intelligence of the emotions, of the body, of intuition and that encourages students to collaborate and to actually draw not just on each other but on the other than human world. So. Conventional education is built on the factory model, mass production, training people, and increasingly so in training people for jobs, for employability within the capitalist system, frequently, frequently in work that isn't particularly satisfying, but paradoxically at the moment, because we're in the midst of a big transition with automation, so people are being trained for jobs that will no longer exist in 20 years, we know. So it's a crazy form of education. The education that we're promoting, that we're delivering, is really aimed at helping students to be flexible in response to a changing world. And in a world in which many of the assumptions that we currently take for granted will no longer be valid. One of them most obviously is the, nat the future of work, the nature of what jobs will be. Um, also, we are entering a huge crisis to do with both ecological dislocation and inequality within the human family, um, which is generating floods of refugees, of ecological crises in the Amazon, for example. And we need people who are thinking not along the lines of, Einstein said you cannot solve problems using the thinking that got you into the mess in the first place. So we need to be training people to think outside of the box and much more flexibly. So really thinking systemically. So I, me personally, it's interesting because I straddle the worlds of, the worlds of teaching and facilitation. Um, so I am a professor of economics, I, I teach economics. Uh, but I notice that, that when I teach conventionally being, when I'm the center of attention, that the student's learning experience is impoverished because they need to be taking responsibility for their own learning journeys. So I find that what works best is when the center of authority and the center of gravity of the classroom shifts from the so-called expert to the learning community and people, the students take responsibility for their own learning journeys. And that increasingly my role is provocateur, mentor, uh, conversationalist, who with each individual student able to, to work individually with them to help them in their own learning paths. And what makes me happiest as, a, as an educator is when I see students really take responsibility for their own learning journey and they're really going this is exciting and this is energizing and when they like the really the top experience is when a student, when a learner suddenly becomes aware of unquestioned assumptions that had been informing the way they see the world and then suddenly going, wow, this is just a story.